two days we'll do list operations on numbers and operation strings and run a Python script. So Python does not suppose a character type. Uh, these are treated as string of length one. Does also consider a substring. Substrings are immutable. So yes, substrings are immutable. Strings are ordered blocked of text. For example, under quotes, whatever you write is considered a string. So strings are enclosed in single or double quotation. That is, uh, we, we just saw double quotation marks allow user to extend string over multiple line without backslash, which is usually sign signal of continuation of an expression. So for example, if, if I write double quotes, I can keep writing by pressing enter and then close my double quote. So that also works here. You can try this at your home and you experiment with Python. Okay. So uh, there are a few more examples. So try this also. It talks about how to take out length. So Python start indexing at zero. So a string S will have indexes running from zero to anything where uh, length is the length of the string. So for example, if you write x equal to edureka and write print length, it would give you 7 despite edureka being 8 character. Sorry, it's okay uh, despite everything. So if you write edureka and just do that, write edureka s equal to edureka and print length, L-E-N, length and under parenthesis the variable in which you have installed or you have allotted edureka. So it will give you the length of edureka, that is seven characters, how long is edureka. So it's basically it start counting from zero. So and then like E would be zero, D would be one and then that is how it count, counts the entire function and then tells you the length of the function. It does not count like E equal to 1, D equal to 2, U equal to 3, R equal to 4, E equal to 5, K equal to 6, and 7, uh, A equal to 7. So that is how it counts and then tells you, okay, it's 7 character long. Okay, so index in Python starts from 0. So when you write, uh, what is index? Location. So for example, when you write, so length give you the length of the character. Index is basically to put pinpoint test location. So for example, if you write edureka1, it will give you D, not E, because as I told you, the length is 7, but the counting starts from 0. So E equal to 0, D equal to 1, but the length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it gives you 7. But when you write S equal to 1, it will give you D. But uh, so, uh, and when you write P, S under uh, bracket 0, it will give you E. So that is how it does. You can also write, uh, you know, if you want a, a particular length, say from character 2 to 4, you can write, you know, uh, something like print s under brackets 1 to 4, and it will give you the entire thing. And if you just want the first three characters, you write print colon 3. So everybody should do this. This is very simple. So please do this uh, whenever you get time. It's very simple, right? There's no, there's no, uh, you know, uh, there's no rocket science in this. It's very simple. So, put something in a variable, take out the learn, read a particular index, location, read multiple, uh, read the entire string, read a part of string, and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, you need to find D in Edureka, it will say yes, true. You write F in Edureka, it will say false. Or you write D not in Edureka, it will give you false. So there are a lot of other ways of doing this, right? OK. In uh, Inside a string, if you want to have a string operator, you use a percent sign. For example, my name is percent S and and age person D years and close the quotes and outside you mention what was percent Anna and 21 so it write my name in Anna and age is 21 years old so it's is very simple 
capitalize is basically to uh, put it into sentence case that is uh, make the first character of the word or the first letter of the word in upper case uh, similarly you can count the uh, count function count it counts the number of time it occurs so for example how do you write count string begin end equal to length string so count how many times string occurs in the string or substrings of the string if starting uh, index beg and index, uh, index end are given so for example if you write you know uh, print s dot count what is s s is where I've, I've saved edurica r e comma zero comma length of s so what we do is basically we are finding how many times r e appears in edureka so it is only one time it appears in edureka similarly if you write um, s encode base 64 i will come to this right now so that is encoding uh, encode utf function and what is that so returns encoded string version of a string on error default is to raise a value error unless error is given within ignore or replace that is you know you can also mention what kind of error it should throw so that is uh, that also can be done so basically uh, there is an example in the screen so can you please all replicate this example um, maybe one of one of these four of this example right now and the rest three back home and then there's a decode decode the string using codec registration for encoding encoding defaults to the decode a default string function so basically encoding and decoding is uh, you know uh, complement to each other index is si similar as find uh, similar as find command that is searching but it says that but raises an exception if the string is not fine so for example index re so it will tell you edureka so if you see where does re is there in the entire edureka would give you the place number so re is in the fourth position so it is 0 1 2 3 it will give you 3 So max gives you the maximum alphabet in English language, minimum gives you the minimum alphabet. Uh, you can replace old with new value. So for example, it, it's showing how to do that. Upper gives you uppercase of the character. 